Today, guys, I'm gonna be showing you how to make some delicious roast vegetables that even people who hate vegetables will love these vegetables. I have made these roasted vegetables for a number of people who said they did not like vegetables, but they have been changed and converted once they had these. I'm gonna be showing you how I'm going to be roasting denser vegetables like butternut squash, sweet potato and corn, and also how I do softer vegetables like green beans, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and onions. You can apply these methods to any of these vegetables and any other vegetables that are like their type. To get started, I'm going to prep the softer vegetables first. My green beans, I'm actually just going to leave whole. So these don't actually need to be prepped at all. They've already been washed. So these are already good to go. Now, what you want to do for your Brussels sprouts, this tip looks a little brown, so I'm going to cut it off. You can opt to leave them whole, but I do prefer to cut them in half. So I'm going to cut them in half. Just like so, just like that. Go in and just slice them right in half. All right, so for my broccoli, I'm gonna be cutting this into florets. I like doing them into somewhat small florets. I don't like them to be too big. I think it takes a little bit too long for them to cook if you leave them too large. You don't wanna have one broccoli that's this size and then you make another one that's this size, okay? Because they're not gonna cook evenly. Similar size. If you were doing cauliflower, cauliflower will be the same. Cauliflower and broccoli pretty much have the same cook time. Next, I am going to be prepping my carrots, okay? I'm just gonna be using this peeler. Okay, this is a very inexpensive, just like $1, $2 peeler. Once my carrots are peeled, I'm going to just chop off the ends, toss those in the compost as well. I also will take the tip off, I find it to be a little dirty, toss that in the bin, okay? Now the size of your carrots, you wanna make them somewhat even in size. Remember carrots are a dense vegetable, they'll take a while to cook. I like to cut mine on a diagonal. I think that's pretty. Okay, you can also just cut it into little chunks like this, like so, if that floats your boat. Or take denser pieces like this and whack them in half. I like to do that, like on the, if the ends are thick, helps them cook better, okay? With the carrots, we're gonna roast sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are dense, just like carrots. All right, now, for prepping this sweet potato, okay? I like to cut them in somewhat similar sizes to my carrots. Um, this actually could potentially take a little bit longer to roast, so I cut them a wee bit smaller. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it in half gonna cut it one time down here again down the middle and then I'm gonna cut it into cubes from here next up is the onion I love using red onion for this because the color ah, the color is just phenomenal that's called it I'm just gonna cut these in really big pieces okay so I just cut it into fours and then, of course, I'm going to take apart the, the little rings here. That's good. Last but certainly not least to be prepped is going to be the winter squash, in this case, a butternut squash. You need to make sure you have a sharp knife when you're doing this. Now, I'm actually not going to cook the whole butternut squash today because I don't need the whole squash, but you certainly can cut off the root end. I'm gonna go in and cut off this side as well. Remember, sharp knife for this. Gently wiggle your knife around. Okay, if you want, they also sell pre-cut butternut squash. Okay, that's a good option if you're afraid to cut it. Now I'm gonna cut this part in half. This is actually the seed cavity. See some seeds in there. Just place them in compost. 
cutting across my squash, just getting the size I want. These are maybe about half an inch. Okay. So here is all the dense vegetables, okay? They're just all in one bowl. And the first thing we're gonna do is add some olive oil, okay? Be generous with your olive oil. So I'm going in with just a little bit of maple syrup. Not gonna overdo it, okay? You don't want it to be sugary. This is about one tablespoon. Of course, pinch of salt, okay? A little bit of pepper. My favorite herb for roasting, thyme. Roasted garlic and red pepper seasoning. And that's all you need for these. These denser vegetables like this have a natural sweetness. They're very easy to season. You don't have to overdo it. I'm just gonna put these on there. Make sure your vegetables, make sure your vegetables are not crowded. They need their own space. If they are crowded, they're just gonna steam on the pan. You Something else I'm gonna add on this pan since I'm already roasting, okay? Some garlic in the skins, okay? Garlic in the skin. Don't take it out the skin, okay? See, it's gonna burn. But if you put these roasted garlics in here, very delicious. I also decide I'm gonna just go ahead and add a little fresh thyme as well. All right. Good, good, good. Next up is the broccoli. Of course, I'm gonna go in with my olive oil, right? Next, I'm going in with fresh garlic. This is the key, fresh minced garlic. It is going to ro uh, roast on the broccoli tips and give it a delicious flavor. Next. I almost always use my garlic pepper seasoning. This is the homemade one that I showed you all how to make on one of my other videos. I will link it down below. I'm gonna use some lemon pepper, just a little bit. Going in with some salt. A little bit of thyme. Small amount, the garlic pepper does have some herbs in it. A Little bit of oregano. My green beans are simple. Spray with a little olive oil. A Little bit of fresh garlic. A Little bit of salt. A Little bit of pepper. On my green beans, I love to use this Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse. Okay, remember this has salt in it, so you don't add a lot. That's all we're gonna put on the green beans. On my Brussels, I'm actually going to add a little bit of the maple syrup, just a, like a teaspoon. A little bit of the sweetness helps enhance the flavor of the Brussels. You could also use just a little bit of honey that would be great here. There's also some spices just around the pan. You know, that's fine. A little bit of garlic. A little bit of that Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse. If you don't have Buttery Steakhouse, just go in with salt, pepper, garlic powder. A little bit of thyme. Good to go on the Brussels. Last is the onion. Now, as you can see, there's a little Brussels that have escaped into here. Don't worry about that. This super simple, just a little olive oil, just a little salt, a little pop of pepper, a little bit of thyme. That's all I do to my onion.
Make sure you adjust the cooking time to best suit how soft you like your vegetables. I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please let me know in the comments. Let me know what other recipes you'd love for me to try. Thank you so much for joining me today in Camille's Kitchen and goodbye.